Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm starting some new segments. Today is Witchy Wednesday, where I'll touch on magic and witchcraft and my journey with Christian witchcraft specifically. And then we'll also have Saturday sessions where I'll delve more into psychology topics with Desi Deconstructs. So we've stepped into the new year and as always, it is filled with limitless possibilities. Today, I'm digging into the topic of manifestation and personal growth. As we fully cross over the threshold into 2024, it's the perfect time to reflect, set intentions, and explore the magical potential within us. Setting intentions is like planting seeds for our future. In this segment, let's explore the importance of clarity and purpose as we set our sights on the year ahead. 2024 holds promises of growth, transformation, and abundance. It's predicted to be a year full of opportunity, including career and work success. Personally, I aspire to deepen my spiritual connection, nurture meaningful relationships, and manifest abundance in all aspects of my life. I really wanna focus on improving my health and wellness. And I also have a list of 13 specific goals that I want to achieve this year, including going to a concert, getting another tattoo, returning to school, and knitting something special for myself. What are your aspirations for the new year? Speaking of goals, Stay tuned for my Saturday session segment about SMART goals. What are SMART goals, you ask? Well, you'll have to wait and see. Remember, intention without action is merely a wish. You can't pray or do a spell to get a job without also sending resumes and going on interviews, right? Let's commit to aligning our thoughts, words, and deeds with our highest aspirations. Now. Let's talk about rituals for manifestation. Prayer, meditation, and visualization serve as gateways to the realm of manifestation. Through intentional practice, we cultivate a deep sense of connection with the divine and tap into the reservoir of infinite possibilities. By infusing our daily rituals with intention and reverence, we awaken the dormant potential within us and beckon our desires into reality. Countless rituals and spells exist for manifestation purposes, but there are some basic guidelines you can follow to see better success. Timing can play a role in the effectiveness of your workings. Research the time of day as well as the day of the week. Also, pay close attention to the moon phase and planetary influences. Are you wanting to manifest a new job? Doing a ritual the morning of a Wednesday or a Friday during a waxing moon will help attract new opportunities, swift movement, and abundance. Want to break a bad habit? Try an affirmation spell during the evening or night of a Saturday during a waning or new moon to harness the powers of Saturn and Hecate for releasing old ways of doing things, promoting self-discipline, and doing the hard work of banishing negativity. Before doing any ritual, you want to set your intention like I talked about earlier. Take some time to reflect on what you truly want and what specific goals you wish to manifest. Write down your intention in a clear and concise manner, as this will help focus your energy during the spellcasting process. It's important to cleanse your energy and remove any negativity or stagnant energy that may be blocking your desired manifestations. You can do this through various methods such as taking a ritual bath, smoke cleansing with herbs or incense, or meditating to release any stress or tension. Divination can provide guidance and insights on what you're about to do. Before or after performing a ritual, you may choose to perform a divination practice such as tarot, scrying, or pendulum work. Use divination as a tool to gain clarity, uncover hidden obstacles, or navigate the best course of action on your journey. 
Many practitioners suggest doing divination before any working to ascertain if you should do it at that time or wait. Speaking of divination, most people believe that some sort of force such as the universe or your ancestors or helpful spirits are the ones speaking to you through your tools. Similarly, some practitioners choose to invoke or work with deities or spirits associated with the matters at hand in their spells. Research deities or spirits from various mythologies or belief systems that align with your intentions and respectfully invite their assistance. Offerings, prayers, or rituals specific to the chosen deity or spirit can be incorporated into the spell working. Visualization is a powerful tool in casting. Take time to sit in a quiet space and visualize yourself manifesting your goal. Imagine the detail, the tasks, and the positive emotions associated with achieving your manifestation. Hold on to this visualization and feel the excitement and fulfillment it brings you. You can also pray to whatever deity or higher power you connect with to come aid you in your working. Depending on the type of spell you want to perform, you may need certain materials or tools. These can include candles, crystals, herbs, oils, symbols or sigils, or any specific items associated with the desired outcome of your working. Research the correspondences and properties of different materials to ensure you select the ones most aligned with your intentions. It is beneficial to create a sacred space that is conducive to the practice of magic. Clear a designated area, such as a table or altar, and arrange your spell materials in a thoughtful and organized manner. Consider adding meaningful items, such as photographs, symbols, or talismans that represent your desired outcomes to further enhance the energy of your spell. You can also cast a circle if you wish, but I personally don't believe that's always necessary. Incantations are spoken or written spells designed to attract or manifest specific results. Create a personalized incantation that aligns with your intention and speaks to the desired outcome. Speak or write the incantation with conviction and belief, channeling your energy into the words as you do so. Manifestation is not merely a passive process. It requires active participation and unwavering faith. In this segment, let's uncover practical tips and tricks to enhance our magical manifestation. A few things to keep in mind for manifestation include maintaining a positive mindset, taking inspired action, and seeking guidance from professionals. You want to avoid common mistakes such as doubt, inconsistency, and taking shortcuts. To enhance the results of your spells, it's essential to maintain a positive mindset throughout the process. Cultivate an attitude of gratitude, trust in the universe, and believe in the effectiveness of your spells. Negative thoughts or doubts can hinder the manifestation of your intentions, so practice affirmations and visualization techniques to keep your mindset positive and focused. There's a saying I love that goes, set it and forget it. Once you do the working, you have to believe in your innermost self that it's going to work and come to fruition. So the best thing you can do is set it aside and basically forget that you did it while checking in with yourself from time to time about whether you've noticed any of the signs of the spell manifesting. While spells can help attract opportunities and transform your circumstances, it's important to take inspired action in your everyday life. This may involve updating your resume to find a job, seeking hypnosis to quit smoking, researching the best school to apply to, or finally downloading a dating app to make connections. Combine your magical efforts with practical steps to maximize your chances of success. If you're new to spell casting or feel unsure about which spells to perform, it may be helpful to seek guidance from professionals in the field. Consulting spell casting practitioners, experienced witches, or witchcraft groups can provide you with personalized advice, insights, 
and specific spell recommendations tailored to your unique situation. A common mistake when casting spells is lacking belief and intention. Approach your spell work with confidence, trust in the process, and have a clear focus on your desired outcomes. Doubt or lack of belief can dampen the energy and the effectiveness of the spell. So cultivate a strong sense of belief in your own power and the magic you're capable of creating. Consistency is key when it comes to spell casting. Set aside regular time for your spells and incorporate them into your daily or weekly routine. Consistent practice allows for the accumulation of energy and intention over time increasing the chances of successful manifestations. Each step in the casting of a spell serves a purpose and contributes to the overall effectiveness of the spell. Skipping important steps such as cleansing your energy or setting a clear intention can weaken the spell's potency. Take the time to properly prepare and perform each step, ensuring that you give your spell the best chance of success. While spells can be powerful tools for creating positive change, they should not be relied upon as the sole solution. Remember to take those practical steps. Manifestation spells work best when combined with proactive efforts in the physical world. Cultivating a positive mindset, embracing gratitude, and releasing resistance are essential pillars of magical manifestation. As we navigate the twists and turns of our journey, let's remain steadfast in our commitment to our dreams. Remember, every setback is a stepping stone and every challenge is an opportunity for growth. With patience, perseverance, and unwavering belief, we can manifest miracles in our lives. An example of a spell I used for manifesting what I wanted happened back in 2020. I had been denied surgery by my insurance several times, so I decided to do a pneumonia jar spell to flip my situation. I cleared and organized my altar and beseeched my ancestors to come aid me. I wrote the situation as it was on a piece of paper and taped it to the underside of the jar lid. I filled the jar with ammonia, tightened the lid, and with conviction I flipped that sucker over. I tied it in a grocery bag and stuck it under my kitchen sink and forgot about it. Less than two months later, after one more referral from my doctor, I was approved for surgery. I remembered my jar and dumped the contents in the toilet since my working was complete. I utilized many of the elements I outlined in this video and my manifestation ritual was a success. The same can be true for you. As our journey draws to a close, Let's take a moment to reflect on the profound wisdom we've unearthed together. Manifestation is not merely a destination. It's a sacred dance between intention and surrender, action and faith. As we embark on this new year, let's embrace the magic within us and co-create our wildest dreams. Together, let's illuminate the path ahead and manifest a future brimming with love, abundance, and limitless possibilities. Until next time, be well and blessed be.